What's up guys? My name is Mojave Fox. My real life name is Shad and I'm on the beautiful Church Mag server. And as you can probably tell, I've been here for a while, probably just under six weeks. But I'm super excited to be here because I happen to work in church tech and I happen to know that everyone else on the server has either some kind of ministry background or um, has a tech background and maybe a combination of the two. And that puts me um, in a place where I have a lot in common with the other guys here. So that kind of community excites me. But today is about sharing my story. So I've been racking my brain on how to do this, but I think I'm going to start with my faith story and kind of build from there. Um, I, I guess the best place to start is in middle school. Um, I, had to, I have two brothers and my mom and dad. We grew up in Kentucky. We um, went to Catholic Church. My dad, um, we kind of went there semi-regularly, but my dad kind of got disillusioned with the church um, just because he didn't really find it relevant to our lives. Um, we kind of just did it out of ritual. I was confirmed and baptized in the church, but I didn't know really anything about Jesus or God. I mean, I just kind of did, went through the motions with the church. Um, so yeah, it wasn't something that was a huge part of our lives. Uh, one day, a friend of ours down the street, more my brother's friend than mine, but he asked us both to kind of go to his youth program at his church. I was kind of skeptical at first, but decided, hey, well, let's just give it a shot, see what it's like. Um, you know, we're not kind of doing the church thing, but it could be fun. So we ended up going, and we had a ball. We played games, we had pizza, we heard cool stories from our pastor, and we made a lot of cool new friends who were kind of different from the other people we know, but in a good way. And like I said, the pastor would share some cool stuff with us, but he'd also invest time with us. Um, we would, um, let's get the spider out of the farm real quick. Come on, buddy. Come on. Jump it. You can jump it. There you go. Um, so he would invest into us. Um, eventually, we ended up going to summer camp. Um, we had CIY, and we had this other camp kind of, it was like a smaller version of CIY in the middle of Kentucky, um, but it was just our church group. And over the course of those two camps, me and my other brother decided, you know what, we, we've heard the gospel, we clearly understand it, we like this whole church thing, we like the people that have invested into us, we love the community. We want to make this, we want to spread this to other people, we want this to be our life. So we decided to um, become baptized. And later in August, we did exactly that. We went to um, this cow pasture out in the middle of Kentucky, and uh, there was this lake, and it, you know when you walked in it, you would release methane when you hit the bottom. <laughs> so it was stinky. But my dad baptized me and my brother there. And about 20 of our friends came out, and uh, it was like a Christian birthday party. Like They brought us DC Talk CDs, and devotionals and uh, Bibles and all that fun stuff and it was really special I'll never forget that summer the community we have that you know fresh new faith that you have um, it was awesome I'll never forget it it was the best so I kind of have to you know after that I kind of had to decide you know what I was what was I going to do with my life what was the next step during our high school time my brothers had both made decisions to go into full-time ministry, and they are both pastors to this day. But for me, I did not make that decision. I decided I am an artiste. <laughs> I like to draw. Um, I want to go to school for design. And at first I wanted to be an architect, but I didn't have the grades. I wasn't that good. So I uh, decided to end up going to school for graphic design. And uh, that was a good choice. I love graphic design. I love putting packages together. I liked branding. I liked illustration, photography. So I ended up graduating college and thought, okay, I'm going to make it big in the ad agencies. I'm going to, um, you know, make a career out of that. So I ended up interning at an ad agency in Louisville. And after three months of that, my internship was over. And I thought, yep, I'm not going to go into the ad agencies. It was a shock. I quickly realized that 
the work you would do for the ad agency wasn't going to match the values I've had uh, as a Christian. And the reason for that was we ended up doing a lot of ads for cigarette companies and alcohol companies. And don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against people who smoke or drink as long as, you know, it's done in moderation. I guess it's it's okay. But I just didn't feel like that's what I should be doing with the abilities God had given me. So the search was on for something else, and I wasn't sure where it was going to take me. I ended up looking at a job um, at, for an in-house designer for a shoe company. Um, but eventually, I passed on that too. I just didn't feel it was a right fit. Um, eventually, there was a job opening for a church, and I didn't expect that. I didn't even know churches had graphic designers at the time. So I applied for it, and I got it pretty quick. Um, the guy I worked for at the church had owned his own ad, ad agency at one point, and he was a great guy to work for, a very good mentor. Um, he invested into me. He helped me grow not only in my faith uh, but in my profession as well. Um, I actually met my wife at that church, and he ended up marrying us there. Um, we ended up getting uh, my wife ended up getting pregnant, and. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, my brother calls me, and he was at a ministry position in Las Vegas. And he said, Shad, I want you to come move to Vegas with me. We have a design opportunity here, and um, it would be right up your alley. And I said, Travis, I don't think I want to move to Las Vegas. I'm sorry, but I think I'll pass. Well, little, little did I know, 30 days later, I was living in Las Vegas at this job and it was total it was a total blur how I went from not interested to this is where God wants me was amazing I did not expect it to happen but God he just moved and I you know me and my wife had talked about it and it was just one of those things that felt right for many reasons I don't want to get into all of them right now but we ended up having Emery in Indiana who's my nine-year-old girl we moved to Vegas. Um, I worked as a, as a designer there for about two years, two or three years. Um, we ended up having our second daughter, Fallon, who was six years old. And my boss in Las Vegas quit, and someone needed to fill his position. So the leadership of the church decided, Shad, you're the man for the job. So I moved from graphic designer to communications director. And that brought on a whole new set of challenges, and I wasn't ready for them, but I was willing to take them on. And I ended up um, taking on social media, our website, our copy center, our front desk reception, um, graphic design, uh, a lot of other things. I wore, I'm wearing, I've, I've worn several hats with this position over the years, and I've kind of learned a lot along the way. Um, it's been a great experience, but that's where I am right now. And what I love most about being a communications director right now is not all of the stuff that I have to do, not the busy work, but trying to shape the communication of the church and to share the mission and vision with the people who attend the church and to get opportunities to share the Jesus and the gospel with people who are not familiar with it. And I've discovered, and I, you know, evangelism isn't my first gift, not at all. But I've definitely been stretched in this position, and I wouldn't have traded it for anything. It's been a great opportunity and something I'm still excited about and still going after. And I'm excited that I get to do it in Las Vegas, where the city so desperately needs to hear um, about Jesus. Um, anyway, that's kind of where I'm at today. Uh, my history with games has also been long and diverse as well. I started um, in 1985 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. My parents had got that. We had Dunk, uh, Duck Hunt. We had Mario Brothers. We had Spy Hunter. I love Spy Hunter. Um, we had this Olympic game. with a, It had a weird controller. It was like a foot pad kind of a deal. And... You would have to run on it, but instead of running on it, I always jump on the ground during a race and slap the A and B buttons with my hands real fast, and my brothers would always get mad at me because I would cheat. <laughs> but um, we had a lot of good times with that. Um, I was kind of the more avid gamer in my family. My brothers kind of left the controllers to the wayside, and I kind of picked them up. Um, we, I've had a Sega. I've had PlayStation 1, 2, 
Didn't get the three, um, had a GameCube, um, moved on to the 360, and played a lot of Call of Duty with my friends in Vegas. A little too much Call of Duty. But eventually I got tired of the shooters, um, picked up Skyrim. I love Skyrim. I love Red Dead Redemption. Um, I love the RPG games. Um, a lot of fun with those. Uh, eventually I discovered Minecraft on the Xbox. Um, discovered that I could do a lot more if I moved to PC, so I play it on my Mac now. And I love Minecraft. I love the fact that I can get my creative outlet on in here and build some cool things, get my inner architect out. Um, I like the zen quality of Minecraft. I like that there's no urgency to really do anything. You just play the game at your pace. It's uh, kind of relaxing. It's just a nice, nice little sandbox to be in. <laughs> um, I like the fact that there's community in Minecraft. One of the things I like the most about this game is that I can share with my kids. It's a safe game. It's fun. It's innocent. It helps them unlock their creative potential. We can play together. Um, we haven't yet. They play in the Xbox, and I kind of watch, and I play in the PC. Every once in a while, I'll grab the second controller and play with them. But it's something we share. We talk about sword enchantments. We talk about potions. We talk about creepers, and my wife just kind of rolls her eyes as we have our own little language about it. Um, but it's fun. So anyways, I guess that kind of wraps up everything. I am excited to be here. This is my first video, actually. This is something that I never expected to be doing, but I felt kind of challenged being on this server to maybe help create some content. And that excites me because I'm a natural introvert, and um, putting myself out there and talking isn't my first inclination. Uh, I'm pretty much scripted this whole video. <laughs> and I've recorded it probably seven times. <laughs> so yeah, bear with me as I struggle and bumble through this whole video making thing. but. It's been fun. It's exciting. I love it. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Uh, that's me, and I'm out. Bye.